have great taste, especially with your radio choice. Thank you for spending a little time with Gary and Bristol on Kiss Country 93.7. It's Stapleton's White Horse. It's Kiss Country 93.7. Good morning. It's Gary and Bristol. And did you make it to the Independence Bowl this weekend? If you did, I want to hear all about it. Texas Tech created quite the stir here in town. They traveled with over 400 band members for the Battle of the Bands Friday. And I thought this was pretty cool. They had their live mascot stabled where I keep my horse at Holly Hill Farm in Benton, the Master Rider. And uh, Texas Tech ended up beating California 34-14. And word is we had 33,000 in the stands. And everything I saw online... From the Coca-Cola uh, pregame, look like people are having a good time. So if you were there, let me know. 725-KISS, 725-5477. Bentley Gilbert, it's bottoms up, and it is on Kiss Country 93.7. Good morning. It's Gary and Bristol, and I'm usually Susie Sunshine in the morning. However, this is the kind of news that might drag you down a little bit. I have already, by the way, seen people with crawfish. Granted, they're small, but they're crawfish. And after this crazy hot summer, dry summer, those mud bugs, according to the farms in South Louisiana, are finally starting to emerge. However, they are saying that crawfish supply will be a major issue in 2024. wonder what's the most anybody's ever paid for a pound of crawfish unfortunately i think we're fixing to see they tested positive but not in a good way careful these two have proven to be highly contagious it's gary and bristol on kiss country 93.7 Holmes, it's a kind of love we make and it's on kiss country 93.7 good morning it's gary and bristol and you know, I can't speak for the guys. Obviously, I'm not a man. I know most of you are like, oh, I don't want to wear a monkey suit. I don't want to. But for the woman in your life, maybe you'll do it. Because every Southern girl likes to get dressed up every once in a while. You know, enjoy the glitz and the glam and to feel like a princess for an evening. It's kind of a nice juxtaposition to those mud boots. You know what I'm saying? And this is your opportunity. I mean, this is really cool. Governor-elect Jeff Landry has set aside... 5,000 tickets for the public to attend his inaugural ball on January 8th. Yeah, so after he is inaugurated, there's a big fancy ball there in Baton Rouge, and you can go to it. It's black tie. It's going to be at Raising Cane's River Center there in Baton Rouge, and there's a website you can go to to request tickets. It's oneteam.com. Tickets are $100 a piece, but honestly, Well, that sounds like a lot. It's less than a Mardi Gras ball ticket here, just saying. Thanks for spending your morning with us. Gary and Bristol on Shreveport Mosher's number one for new country. (laughs) Kiss Country 93.7. Chesney's out last night. It's Kiss Country 93.7. Good morning. It's Gary and Bristol, and it's time now for Ticket Trivia. And we've got a Louisiana lottery prize pack up for grabs. Now, if you missed the answer to Friday, I was out. I was live at Batteries Plus Bulbs, so I missed the answer to this. Here is your question. Insurance reports show that people with this career have the fewest auto accidents of all. What was that career? And man, I bet this one took a hot minute to get. The answer was a farmer. Crazy. All right, here we go. A third of the people who are pet owners say that they do this before leaving the house. What is it they're doing? A third of people who are pet owners say that they do this before leaving the house. What is it that they're doing? 725-KISS 725-5477 Brian Rain thing. It's Kiss Country 93.7. Good morning. It's Gary and Bristol. Ticket trivia. We've got a flurry of fun Louisiana lottery prize pack up for grabs. If you can answer this. A third of the people in a recent survey who are pet owners say that they do this before they leave the house. What do you think that is? What's your guess? Is it tell their pets goodbye? Uh, We all do that, I think. Unfortunately, that's not it. Is it turn on the TV or radio? It's 
turning on the TV or radio. Yes. I always Yay. joke that we broadcast to more cows than people. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? Where are you calling from? Uh, my name is Brittany, and I'm calling from Bozier. Well, congratulations, Brittany from Bozier. You just got yourself a Louisiana Lottery prize pack. I guess I should probably add this. You're at least 21, correct? <laughs> Yes, ma'am, I am. Fabulous. Now, all you got to do is tell everybody who is Shreveport Bossier's number one for new country. Kiss Country 93.7. Hello. Got something to tell Gary in Bristol? Call them at 725-KISS. Or you can leave them a voicemail on the Kiss Country app. It's Kiss Country 93.7. Luke Combs does to me. It's Kiss Country 93.7. Good morning. It's Gary in Bristol. And it is going to be a beautiful day today. I know. Chilly start, but 65 and sunny and I'm loving this and I don't know if I love this though I mean I see where they're coming from but I want to know what you think on this 55% of Americans say that they believe the concept of New Year's resolutions is outdated and 70% of those people would be interested in taking a different approach to those resolutions like making more incremental lifestyle changes Isn't that kind of what having a New Year's resolution is all about? I think every year, most of us, even the ones that say, I don't make resolutions. I mean, we all make whatever resolution we do with the intention of being a better person in the New Year, right? Whether it's physically, emotionally, financially. Is this just another way for saying we're having a New Year's resolution? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Inquiring minds want to know. 725-KISS. 725-5477. I'm not sure how I got here. Thanks for making us part of your morning. Gary and Bristol on Kiss Country 93. I'm on Dit's house party and it's on Kiss Country 93.7. Good morning. It's Gary and Bristol and the top 10 baby names for the year in Louisiana are out. And when it comes to boys, number one... We have Liam, followed by Elijah, Noah, Luke, James, Levi, John, William, Oliver, and Asher. And I will say this. We do have a Noah in our family. And for girls, top name is Olivia, followed by Amelia, Ava, Charlotte, Harper, Emma, Isabella, Mia, Avery and Evelyn. So if you named your babies any of those names this year, we want to know. 725 KISS or shoot us a message using that free KISS Country app. Nate Smith is world on fire. KISS Country 93.7. Good morning. It's Gary and Bristol. And coming up next, we got your 60-minute music marathon. It's a solid hour of nonstop country. The perfect way to kick off your work day. And speaking of work, the experts are weighing in saying that you should not give 100% at work. It's an idea called the 85% rule, which says instead of giving max effort, loosen up a little bit. Give 85% instead. That keeps you more flexible, more present, helps you to be more creative, and keeps you from burning out. I think it's interesting that this study came out at the end of the year when everybody's already burnt out, don't you think? Nothing puts the good in your morning like Gary and Bristol on Kiss Country 93.7. New country from Shreveport's own Jordan Davis. It's Tucson too late and it is on Kiss Country 93.7. Good morning. It's Gary and Bristol and coming up on the show tomorrow, we're going to be talking to DJ Roman, one of the owners of the new dueling piano bar in Louisiana Boardwalk. It's called Sweet Caroline's was supposed to over, open over the past weekend, but they didn't get all their licensures in place. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll get that open date tomorrow when we talk to DJ. Plus, if that wasn't enough, Gary's back. So make sure you wake up early with us tomorrow morning. It is Kiss Country 93.7. on Shreveport Bossier's number one for new country. Kiss Country 